Okay, today we're going to learn about the uh, rounded rectangle tool um, and some shadow tools. Um, in the normal rectangle window, you can right click and you get ellipse, polygon, star, um, but there's a special one called the rounded rectangle tool. I've put this in my toolbar, toolbar already, uh, but for you guys, it's probably in this dot, dot, dot window. Um, it's gonna be up near the top. Uh, next to the arc and polar grid tool somewhere in there um, So just click on that and you can make some rounded rectangles already got started with making um, like A little Stonehenge Stonehenge type design so I'm gonna make another one and We can click on it and drag it um, To angle there you go, that's the one you want. And we can angle this in so it connects to the top. And then drag this back on top of there. Um, now that one is on top because I made that most recently. Um, if we were doing a perspective, obviously this rectangle would appear in front of that rectangle. So I'm gonna click on this. Um, you can right click and go to arrange and you can bring that to the front and now it's in the front so uh, th these edges might be in front of that so i want to make sure this is in the back so let's go to send to the back all right and uh, you, you can use this to make T or um, a hamburger bun or the patty uh, for your project um, and then we can just grab that and do the rough in effect I'll show you that in another video um, but here we want to add a shadow so I can go to effect and stylize and that's a drop shadow it's kind of what you use for text. Um, you can change the opacity, meaning it's more um, see-through, translucent, with a lower number, like 40. And 100 would be all black. Um, I'm gonna go for 44. And you can change how much it's offset. It blurs the edges, so it's a soft shadow. And uh, if we want to move this to the right, I can hit the X offset higher, and I think I can make this a negative. And then it moves to the other side, to the left. Um, so you can account for where your point of light is um, on your document and make sure it's the same for all of them. But that doesn't really count for Stonehenge if we were... Uh, say having the Sun over here at, at sunset. So how would we do that? We're gonna take one of our blocks and we're just gonna copy that and um, Okay, now we're gonna put this on top of our current rectangle and then we're gonna go to the uh, Free transform tool. It's near the bottom Just gonna drag this in and we want to click on that one and then we're just going to move this across at an angle like that I'm gonna go back to our select tool and so this is a shadow we want this to be in the back so I'm gonna right click and send to back and so there's a shadow. Now obviously they're just white circles right now, but what we can do is select all of these and go to our fill. And we can make this this color gray, like a stone. Um, you 
you could do a gradient effect if you like. Um, we're just going to go with that gray color for simplicity. And then I'm going to click on this one. And I'm going to fill it black. And I'm going to make the opacity not so dark. So yeah, I think 55 looks good. Um, so that's how you can make a shadow um, just by copying the shape and using the free transform tool. You see it's behind there, uh, but with perspective, we can't see it all, but I think that looks pretty good. Um, you can always change the length of this if you want it to be um, more like at night, um, closer to sunset. Um, and then if it's more middle of the day, you can make it smaller. All right. Thanks for watching.